another great episode of Broken Play. Man, we got a special guest in the building, so without further ado, we got Jamal Crawford in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Honored to be here. Honored so, to be here. Yeah, so I talk basketball. They don't take my take serious. So we had to bring an NBA legend in here for y'all to start understanding we know what we're talking about. Because when me and Marcel or Don might say something, it go over their head. So <laughs> I told them LeBron was going to win the in-season tournament. Yeah, they said no. A lot of people, they ain't see it coming. I didn't have the Lakers. They I had them losing it. the Phoenix first round, honestly. I had Phoenix if they had matched up. But it was, uh-huh. they was going with the Pacers. They was definitely going to win that. So, look, with, with the in-season tournament, how you feel about that, though? It was you think actually, it's good for the... Uh, yeah, it's good. A- actually, better than I thought it was. I yeah. thought, I'm like, it's a regular season game, but they changed the courts. And more importantly, the competitiveness picked up. Yeah, they, they start playing it. hard. They start hooping for yeah. real. So, for me, that was dope to see because that's all, especially dudes that play... Not even just in the league, just period, playing that long. You want people to compete. So seeing that again was dope. Uh-huh. And then you're seeing a lot of people weren't taking games off. So it was like, they, they want that, get that money. money. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they want that bread. They, they trying to get that bread. They were asking about it after the Lakers game. Uh, LeBron said they were asking about it. No, that was they hard, though. I fuck with what he said, though. He said he wanted to win it for the young guys. Yeah. That was dope. Yeah, that was, that was dope. But in, in the same Senate, LeBron, if you didn't, just give it to him. That shit was <laughs> <laughs> He got it, right? Yeah. He got it. He got it. 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 LeBron with that 500 too. For yeah, real. he wanted yeah, to. Yeah, he could do something with it. So look, Anthony Davis. A lot of people give him a lot of slack. Anthony Davis looked like a machine out there. He showed up. For sure. What, what, you, what you got to say? You right, but I mean, <laughs> AD is talented. Uh-huh. And, and that's what's dope about him. And I think that's why everybody wants to see him. When he's playing like this, yeah, can't nobody mess with him. Right. But how often are we going to see him play like yeah, this? Yeah, why it can't be consistent when we know you, you know what I'm saying? So what are we doing? Yeah. That's uh-huh. the only thing with me. It ain't a talent thing with him. It's just like LeBron shouldn't have to be the best player at 39 years old. No right. Way. At 39. You know what I'm saying? At 39. That's Kudos crazy. to him. That's a gift. And we're all blessed to be able to see it every uh-huh. night that he's still doing like that. But that's that's tough. That's he, too he passed much. the team to you. Yeah. Every night you got to be there. So with them making that, you know, with the end season tournament, how that was, do you could do you see with the team they have constructed now, moving on, like they could they could win a championship with that team? They could, but I still see them struggling in the playoffs. Yeah. Like I still think when Phoenix is right, we ain't seen them healthy yet. Whew. I think when they right, I think when Denver starts rolling because they now they know how to win. You know what I'm saying? Before uh-huh. they trying to figure it out, now they know how to win. Yeah, and they probably coasting until yeah, this time until then, to, yeah, right? until like, the playoffs. So it'll still be tough. Ain't no cakewalk, but they'll be right there. Man, they should. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I slept on Joker. I did too. Man, well, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm like, man, the playoffs, they gonna put him in so many pick and rolls. Yeah. And this and that. But my he man different. is, he's so smart. I said this last year. I was at the, the, the finals. Uh-huh. I said this last year. He's so smart. He's not even playing against the players he's playing against. He's playing against the coach. Facts. What Bro. you gonna throw at me? Because I got something else I'm gonna I'm I'm conjure up. Like, he's so dope. We ain't seen nothing like him. He, he got plays. a counter for everything. Yeah. Everything. He's play, Like we say somebody's playing chess, he's truly playing chess. He's playing a whole different game. <laughs> right. And he's at peace. Like, he don't make hurried decisions. Yeah. You do this, I do this, brother. Yeah, you can't you speed him up. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> my, man is, my man is at peace with his game. Right. But you know, like, I ain't going to say, like, he quick, but he not fast. So it's like when I would see him on the court and yeah. stuff like that, I'm like, they can't stop that shit. But then when you see it, like it's the old man at the park. Yeah, facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's the old, I'm smarter than everybody. So <laughs> yeah. I'm playing a different game with you. I'm showing you now that the mind is to physical is two is to one. Like it's stronger than just a physical ability. He's playing a whole different game. So if you can't, if you got the best athletes in the world and they can't speed him up and he's still getting 35, my man's so cold he don't even want to score. Uh huh. Scoring's the last option for him. Like, he's getting he everybody on. I right. guess in the I'll score. Yeah. I guess I'll get 30. And he's a little bit stronger. And he's a little bit meaner. He's just, he's that deal. He's all-time great already. Facts. He's that deal. Oh, and he'd be like, man, I'm, gonna, he's that I'm deal. not even trying to play, man. I'm just trying to be home and Bro, he kick it with my family. Also. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he, who knows what he's actually working on. But my man is cold. Joker cold. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? This your boy, Nav Green from Broken Play. Here to talk about prize picks. And if you haven't heard about prize picks, clearly you must just got out of jail. So let me speed you up with the process of the real world. Prize picks. Man, you pick six people. Six people. More or less. Any sports you could think of. College basketball. NBA. NFL. 
College football, bowl games are coming back. With that being said, all you're doing is more or less. Six people, 25 times your money. If you put up $100, you can win $2,500. Who else doing something like that? And what's so good about it, if you use the broken play code, they're going to match whatever money you put in on your first deposit. Say if you put in $70. That's mean you got $140 to try to win some money. You can't beat that, man. Get over there to Prize Picks and tell them that we sent you. It's available in over 30 states. And if it's not available in your state, drive to the state closest to you. This is something you can't beat, man. Christmas time coming. Get this kid, get these kids the money. You want some good gifts? Prize picks is the way. So you got, so you said Joker is the all-time great. So right now you do think he's a top five in the league right now. Oh, without a doubt. Easy. Easy. So look, did you see when Paul Pierce said that he didn't think LeBron top five in the league? You, you saw that. He saw too. <laughs> you saw it too. I'm just saying, like, what you think? I mean, <laughs> you on something? Like, I'm watching LeBron right bro, now, bro. And based off right now, like what we just saw, how can you not say he top, he Come not on. top five? Like, I I I get it when you say like and be Giannis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course they are good, argue. but it's like, are you really taking them over Braun right now? Right. I can't. I can't. He's giving, giving you the to win. To win. He's giving I you can't tenacious say. defense. The man. He's the smartest guy. I, I, I'll answer it like this. I'll answer like this. You could say, like you said, you could say, you know, MB, Giannis, uh -huh. Luca, Tatum, all the Tatum, them. Yeah. are having like statistically, you could say, statistically, you could say. Those five are having better seasons. Uh -huh. But if it's a playoff and I got to go win, to your point, nah, he's top five. None of them are more valuable. Right. Nah, in the right. playoffs when it matters, there's no doubt. Because if I, if I was doing a top five, my top five, it wouldn't include a lot of them because I still, I'm not counting KD out. Come on. KD's having Facts. such a quietly great yeah, season. Bro. One of the best bro, seasons yeah, he done had. Ever. KD is With made. assist? He's shooting 50-50-90. I'm going to tell you what KD's doing, bro. KD is playing perfection basketball. What I mean by that is this. Every play is the right play. He could have 40. Most guys, even myself, I get 40, I'm trying to get 60. You know what I'm saying? He's like, nope, he's open. Let me give it to him. Uh -huh. He's playing perfection basketball. So, And it made Booker better, too. When Booker was out, he's mm -hmm. watching him play perfection. Right. Like, oh, I ain't got to take always tough shots. I can get an easy one. This one, we can do the dudes win. Going, and my score's going to be easier. Uh -huh. So he's doing that. Bro, he's made Achilles look like ankle injury. People forget mm -hmm. he had Achilles the way he's right. playing. Right. And the way he's played since then. Don't forget what he right. did. With Brooklyn against uh, when his toe was on the line, yeah, right. yeah. he was the best player in the world at that moment. Even before hands, Kyrie, hands down. Even before Kyrie requested the trade, they was playing great, bro. Like KD yeah. was having a mo another monster year. So let's go back to before he got hurt, before he went to Brooklyn. What he was doing? Uh -huh. I mean, that was a two-time Finals MVP. And let's call a spade the spade. That second championship, he wasn't even tripping on getting Finals MVP, and he still got it because he was that dog. He had to Max. get it. He Come on, bro. Get it. Like, so if you look at this like five, six year run. Yeah. Oh, let's go before that. Now he's what? OKC? We know what he was doing then. He had Pack. he was coming off an of MVP. He went to the finals at 23. Yeah. Like, bro, he's a top whatever you want to put player, dot, dot, dot. Wherever you want to put it. If you're going straight, skill, like you, and a lot of people be having I mean, emotions all and shit. All yes. time? He's top 10 all time. Easy. He in my top 10. Easy. He in my top 10. Top 10 Easy. Yeah, he in my top 10. Easy. Easy. So look, this off subject. A lot of people, so you know what I'm saying? I know you a fan of the game. You know the craft and all that. Larry Bird. You taking Larry Bird or KD? I'm taking KD. <laughs> but I'm going to be honest with you. It took it took me a while for people to, for not people. It took a while for, yeah, for people to actually pass Bird, in my opinion. For real? Oh, so you had serious. him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird's uh, like that, man. Bird and Magic <laughs> helped save the NBA. Oh, yeah. I don't... Mm -hmm. But you know, like watching documentary, it shouldn't have to take for me to watch a documentary. But when I started watching Winning Time, oh, Bird was, yeah, I was like, oh, this Bird was beyond <laughs> cold, like beyond cold. Yeah, ask Dominique. You guys ever get Dominique Wilkins here, the legend? <laughs> ask him. Ask him. Why do you laugh, so? If, yeah. Ask him stories about Bird. Bird getting sixty. Tell him I'm about to shoot right Bird there, kept right him there, from right doing there. Doing a lot of stuff in the post. Yeah, oh, bro, come on, Bird. Yeah, but now in this league, he, you know what he would do in this league? 
Right. Where you could shoot threes and you could space. He would be a power four, so he could space the court and shoot threes. He said he wouldn't kill in the, the Bird would kill in this yeah, league. He'll be, he'll be more skilled. Bro, Bird but would look, kill in this athlete, league. Athleticism, he got all that? We just saw that with Joker. Joker don't We just talked about athleticism. Yeah, you're right. We see it low key with Luca. Luca yes. ain't the most athletic. Yeah. Yes. Hey, you know why I like Luca though? Luca is a dog. He talked this shit to me. But you know why Luca's so good? Why? He's been a pro since he was 15. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Playing That's the against best. grown men. We got kids reclassing. He playing he playing grown men at 15. Uh, ahead. So when I get with my age group, this is a this is a joke. Uh -huh. And I, I'm not saying it was to that level for me, but that's what I did. Ask Damon when he comes in. I was playing against him at 16. That was the best training method I'm gonna get. These is pros. Oh, yeah. So when I get with my team, I'm like, man, I don't even see y'all. Uh -huh. I don't even see you guys. Luca's been doing a pro since 15. So, like, with you watching the game. Luca play like he got headphones on. Like he in his mm. own zone. <laughs> Facts. You can't do nothing with him. You can't speed him up. You can't do none of that. He he control the game. He, he control controls everything. everything. He's gotta win now. So with you watching the game how it is now, like I know, like, even with you, I know you could still go out there and play. I could. Yeah, like easily. For but sure. it's like, do you do you want to still at this point? Nah, I honestly I coach kids and we just we just I was just telling Cell mm -hmm. we just had a uh, so we're in the made hoops league which mm -hmm. is like the middle school EYBL gotcha and we just had a tough like draw and we went three and one so mm -hmm. everybody's kind of like talking about us more but I get more joy out of that than anything right. and I never saw myself as a coach ever I got offered an NBA job coaching college job coaching I never saw myself as a coach but it's so much more to it with these kids mm -hmm. like. You're kind of setting the foundation for their life, like uh, in basketball and without basketball, just right. their life period. And that's it's the greatest thing, maybe basketball wise. Like, there's nothing I could do to replace playing, uh -huh. but this is the best thing. If you told me I could talk a game seven on TV, I can go play in a game seven, or I can coach in a May hoop session. I'm going to coach a May hoop session. For real? No doubt about it. Yeah, that sounds like Dion. Dion said his name. It's not even close. Yeah, and it took you me forever. Found a new passion. It took me forever to get there though, because uh -huh. I would wake up days depressed. Like, bro, I just had 51 points off the bench and five assists in my last game, and I can't get a job. Right. Two years before that, I won teammate of the year. I couldn't even watch basketball for a minute. Right. I'm breaking news on him. I'm giving y'all a lot. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, for real, for real. So I'm like, man, I can't even watch basketball. Dang. So do, so do you, because we know it's politics and everything. Yeah. So you think, like, it'd be politics and certain type of stuff for like sure. that? For sure. But, but, but the, well, I don't know, but it like, I know, you ain't know. Nah, so I, it took me, and you know what? If you ask me this on day... 97, I couldn't have answered it. It took uh -huh. me a while to get to this answer. To understand. So what it was, was looking back, all right, and I'm not saying I'm a superstar by no means, but I have a following uh -huh. for sure, mm -hmm. right? Facts. I, I yeah, got yeah. the culture with me. Uh -huh. So if you bring me in on a team, and you know I can still play, but there's a young guy you want to develop, there's going to be a, a legion of fans or riders like, well, hold up, if you say you're trying to win, why this dude ain't playing? That's pressure on them that they don't need. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to let him develop. We need to let him rock out. Because uh -huh. now if you go out there and score 10 points in 10 minutes, they're going to be like, why, why he ain't playing? Uh -huh. That's a distraction. You don't want that. To you, the coach, to the organization, You're all not that. supposed to be, at my age that I was when I was playing, you're supposed to be a mascot or a coach in uniform. Yeah, Hadan, like... Uh, I ain't going to say no name. Not, I'm just saying in general. Not that deep. But. I'm saying you're supposed to be like, I'm supposed to be a guy that never suits up. Who's just in a suit, but I'm giving games to the young players. Morale uh -huh. guy. I'm supposed to be a morale guy. Right. Or I'm supposed to be a coach. What coach wants, I'm supposed to get that message to that young player. How to, uh -huh. you know, whatever. I'm supposed to be a vet. Right. You're not supposed to be like that at that age and still be able to score 50. Like, and you could still go crazy. Like, oh, whoa, man. wait a minute. Hold up, bro. My high score. We month, might gotta pay him. <laughs> my high score month in my career came when I was 39. I averaged 31.6 assists off the bench in a month at 39 years old. So that tells you, like, that was with the Nets. No, nah, no. So the Nets was the very last game. I'm gonna tell you about that game in a second. But uh -huh. with Phoenix, oh, the yeah, last yeah, four yeah. years, yeah, 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 yeah. But with the Nets, I hadn't played in in a game in 16 months because I went the whole year without playing, right? Yeah, without signing. Uh -huh. The reason I got the call was because COVID, COVID. People, yeah. yeah. But also, that's part of the reason I got hurt because I wasn't. I usually play five and five. He'll tell you, we play five and five. I play five and five all the time. But with COVID, you couldn't be around people like that. So I'm uh -huh. just by myself shooting. Still not think I'm actually going to sign. I'm 40 years old now. Uh -huh. I practice. The first day I get the call, I practice first day at the Nets. I'm like, ooh, I got to get in shape. Second, third, fourth day, I'm having like unbelievable practices. I go in the weight room, get hurt in the weight room. Everybody knows knows me that I don't lift yeah, weights nice. at all. <laughs> but I, here I am 
want another chance. I can't be like, oh, I'm coming, but I don't lift weights. Like, you're going to do what the team do. Right. All good. I hurt myself in the weight room. Come back, fast forward, so I miss a week and a half. I come back. I work out two days. I'm like, I'm ready to come back. And I, it was weird when I was on the court with people, and I came back against the Bucks. And asked if you guys ever talked to Jock Vaughn, uh -huh. I said, you sure want to come back against him? Because at the time, they were the best team in the bubble. Mm -hmm. I said, I want to come back against them. I want to come back against the best. I don't want to come back against somebody that's just uh -huh. Right. I come back. I have five points, three assists, and six minutes. And I start seeing the look again. This was the most important thing to me. I start seeing the look again when people regard me like, no, you got to. I said, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm back. all back. <laughs> I swear, I promise to God. Because that, that crossover that you got, like, bro, it don't matter. It don't nah. matter. I don't know. It's it's the crossover, but it's also the fact I can shoot off. Of it. Yeah, bucket. Mm -hmm. It's a bucket. It's, it's a bucket. You don't know what he's going to do. No, nah, you don't. Do that and, then, and then, with the rules now, you can't touch a person. Uh -huh. So physically, and think about it logically, if, if I can dribble and I can shoot and you can't touch me, it's like guarding a ghost. How you gonna how you gonna guard me? If you can't be physical with me and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna guard me? Right. And you taller than dribble, most guards. And, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. now what I've eliminated was it wasn't even the fact if you guard me. I've now you're like, I don't wanna be embarrassed, bro. <laughs> I know you're gonna yeah, score. Right. It's like, like yeah. I've eliminated the taking out your mind, you can stop it from scoring. Now it's about how not to be on YouTube or or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like social media and viral clips because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's they different was, now. Yeah. Like People it tell ain't, me the game, it ain't you know, the same. For sure. So when you saying like, so <clears throat> say for instance, how James Harden just went to the Clippers. Yeah. So a player like him, because when you say a game, like you really can't touch him and stuff like that, what do you rank him as in like, you know, one of those type of players? All time? Yeah. All here at the top. Yeah, it was 30, 35 one year. Listen, bro, before we get into this, <laughs> yes. we have this debate every, every week. Time. Every we are you don't on, really like hard. We're on the side. Let's, I felt the energy. I felt the energy. We are on the side of James Harden is a top five shooting guard of all time. He's not. Okay, so hold on. Right. That's a better debate. And this is why. You got Jordan. You got Kobe. You got D-Wade. You got Jerry West. Who else you put in there? Never even mentioned Jerry West. We never. I had AI. I had AI in there. You got AI. We we take Jerry West mm -hmm. out. We put AI and Harden. Uh, we put AI, D Wade, Kobe, D Mike, Mike, and Harden. Harden. Who else is next? Some people say T Mac. Ooh. But I, 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 I think I changed over T Mac. I've always had T Mac at three. I always had T Mac at My argument always is two. It's it's two debates. It's like it's legacy and it's talent. If you're going to say legacy, yeah, some people have a better legacy than other people. If you're going to say talent, then that's a different conversation. So hold on, since you said that, who's more talented, Harden or T Mac? Just who's more talented than Harden or T Mac? I think T Mac probably is a little more talented. A little? I think uh, I think James Harden just skill. He's, He's just his skill yeah. is just what was and still is like you know what I'm saying up there. But talent, talent. T -Mac I got T Mac too. But the world. thing about it is, the Harden situation is interesting because he's so dominant. But it takes a special player to play with him. What mm -hmm. I mean by that is mentally, uh -huh. you got to know you're going to stay in that corner for a whole Yeah, time. for you maybe six possessions and in a row. Harden, um, this is not knocking Harden, because Harden is good enough to carry you. He's done it. He's proved yeah. it. Right. But it's just an interesting dynamic with, with the other four shooting guards. It wasn't like that mm -hmm. as much. I agree. You know what I'm saying? So if he won a championship, like almost like the Curry thing, like what people talk about, Steph, because remember before it was like seven seconds or less in Phoenix. Oh, that don't right. work in the playoffs. Right. You can't win as a jump shooting team. Uh -huh. Right. They win it, it changed everything. Yeah, exactly. So if Harden had won it, it's a different conversation. Back. So I agree. Yeah. yeah. His style changed the game, though. Same way you just said with Steph. Right. Like, see how you have Harden, you have follow ups like Luca. So I, I, I've been, I got killed on social. I said, Luca is Houston Harden. Oh, exactly. The same yeah. thing. They're like, no, he was the mid range. I'm like, you're getting too specific. I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm not saying he posts more and the heart yeah. does this more. Step back more, whatever. Right. I'm saying the way they attack systematically is yeah. the same. And they control the game. And they exactly. control the yeah. game. It's their pace. It's you have to have special people around them as well. Like mm -hmm. it's the same outcome. And what's interesting is going to be, is Luca going to be looked at at Harden if he gets to 30 plus mm -hmm. and doesn't get to the final. Right. Uh, and they're trying to build the Dallas team a, around That's the like conversation. That. Right. right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They, you know, Zion been getting a lot of heat. You know what I'm saying? They saying he out of shape and stuff like that. With me, 
I, I do think. Man, he in, he in New Orleans. You expect him not to eat down there? Bro, that beignets food so and everything. good. I'll be waiting on beignets when I was going down there. Bro. We just left New Orleans. See what I'm saying? Bro. <laughs> yeah. You know what kind of discipline he the got The gator have bites, the red beans. <laughs> yeah. like, bro, they have food that you make like, I'm going to try that po' boy and grits. Like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> it might take one back with you. Where are you yeah. coming from? Like, yeah. But with Zion, they were like comparing. <clears throat> they saying he could be. But like, what, what, what more do they want from him, though? Consistency. That's all. I think he's been balling. He's been, this year. Yeah, he's, right. he's been balling. He's been, he been balling. doing this good. He, it, th- these conversations didn't happen until he he fumbled the in season tournament. Mm-hmm. He looked bad against the against Lakers that, that game. But other than that, them and bro, was LeBron was season. clicking. The whole team was clicking. But to me, I think to be honest with you, I think it goes before all that. Zion was looked at to be the next savior. Uh, exactly. And they feeling like let down on that. And that's what the thing is. That's the dangerous thing about media. We all. In media, but we we gotta really be real about it. They they create people to get everybody excited. They build you up to tear you down. That's just mm-hmm. the way it goes. Mm. And that's what makes LeBron so special in a different way. Because he was on the cover of sports. He was set up for failure. <laughs> yeah. And he he never haven't failed. dropped. He was set up for failure. He failed. haven't never dropped failed. it yet. And he ain't yeah. man, he's took it and said, I'm taking everybody else with me. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So kudos to him. But Zion was set up for failure. And like you say, he's having a great season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if he didn't have so much. I'm going to give you an analogy in a second. If he didn't have so much pressure and hype on him, it'd be like, oh, Zion's one of the next stars. But we crowned him so early and said he was the next one so early. Bro, how Remember he was Vegas dunking in high game? school and doing that in Duke? Shit, I thought he was <laughs> too. <laughs> but the analogy is this. If a first round pick, a top 10 pick, averages 10 points, you're like, man, he was a bust. Uh-huh. But if a second rounder averages 10 points, you're like, oh, he's a jewel. He was. They in the same draft, like Joker. Joker mm-hmm. was second round. They in the same pick. draft, uh-huh. but it's the it's the 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 light they put on you. So now they can you know they can carve you up. But that comes with it. That comes. He with was it. in the same draft with uh, Ja Morant. So Ja Morant, he could play back. He could start playing December twenty first. Right. That's gonna be his first game. What you think about Ja Morant? You think because you know time away, you know yeah. get, get acclimated back to the game, but he's still a great player. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, he's a great. He's a stud player, and he's a. What's crazy about Ja is we see all the dunks, and obviously everybody sees that. Right. Kids love him, we love right. him, uh-huh. but he's actually a basketball savant. I remember when I first saw Ja, I'm like, damn, he's a mix between Chris Paul and Derrick Rose. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Because he actually knows the game. He make his crazy teammates level. better. Yeah. Got all them paid. Uh-huh. Yeah. But the the difference with him coming back is two things. One, he's been working out the whole time, so it won't be like that adjustment. And it's not like he's coming to a team where he has to fit in. Like, nah. Let's go. Yeah. You back. Let's go. Yeah. True. You just hope Memphis had more wins before he yeah. came back to stay in contention. Yeah. Like, yeah. so it could be like he, we still, the train had been right. moving. Right. I'm and they still make on a crazy run. They use that emotion, all that. Mm-hmm. But Ja is, ja is special. Yeah. Very for sure. sure. So you think the Warriors over with? Or they got to make some, make some trades. And when I say that, I ain't going to say, I'm going to rewind. Yeah, I, don't I ain't going to say over, over with. with. But what I'm saying, are they the same Warriors if they don't make a trade? Can they compete? With the team they have now, they can compete, but do I think they win it with the same team? Uh-huh. No, because what happened was the Warriors didn't get worse; everybody else got better and younger. And what they did was they start playing the Warriors style. Yeah. Nobody was playing the Warriors style when uh-huh. they came in. We used to scrimmage. Well, not scrimmage. We used to play against them, and when we scouted them, we couldn't because they're random. You know, I'd be like, oh, hey, here come that pin down play. Here come whatever. Uh-huh. You can do that with 99% of the teams. With them, it's no plays. Right. It's all reads. So you can't really be a factor with the Warriors if you don't have IQ because you got to make these reads split second. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So I don't think they've gotten worse. I think other people have gotten better. Denver won playing a random style offense. Joker, uh-huh. okay, pick and roll, pass, pass. Re- like, uh-huh. they're not really scouting. You know what I'm right. saying? That's why they, mm-hmm. they kind of play like that. And so other teams have done that, and they've taken their style. And they're a little bit younger, and you know, and they ain't won four championships, so they're hungry too. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? So it's just they ain't done, but they still they need to make something happen. Based on what's out there, and you know, other teams, what's the move you would make that will improve them? I would somehow get more scores. If you go back and look, and there's some there's some crazy vets out there right now. T.J. Warren's not signed. Mm-hmm. Isaiah Thomas isn't signed. Yeah. They need another one, like, bro. Jalen Noel, who averaged double figures for Minnesota. He just got just a 10-day, right? But what I'm, 
just, but I'm saying he was on a playoff team, average double figures off the bench. He wasn't signed. There's so many talents like that that can help you in this mm -hmm. pinch. But I think they need to do that to provide more spacing. Because Steph, when he went out, I think he missed his first game or whatever back a few weeks ago. Nobody at that point scored 20 points on the team. Yeah, yeah. except yeah. Sarge. Sarge yeah. was Sarge. the only one. But he did it that night Steph was right. out. Right, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, nobody had done it while he was playing. So they need more scoring because I'm looking, watching the game. I caught that game. I'm like, hold up. This is the least amount of space I've seen the Warriors had in like 10 years. Uh -huh. That's what makes them special. They can space you out, attack you. You can't double. They got shooters everywhere. Gotcha. Yeah. Jordan Poole. You, I felt like they was going to miss Jordan Poole. And I, and I think they missing him. Like Jordan Poole, I don't think he want to be in Washington. But so, so my take on that is this. It came down to Draymond or Jordan. And not because of the fight. It came down with who fit better with Steph at the end of the day. Steph needs Jordan, but he really needs Draymond. Needs Draymond. 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 Draymond, 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 the motor. Draymond, the motor. Yeah. He's the motor. He's the motor. A lot of reasons. He's a bully. He's a bully. He's a bully. Leader. Uh, emotional. Leader. Like leader. Emotional, yeah. Yeah. He's a thinker on the court. Mm -hmm. He takes Steph like, you run around, do what you do. I'm the point guard. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So think about it. The money Jordan has signed for what? A hundred? Yeah. hundred plus. Yeah. Trading. Yeah. What did Draymond sign for? A hundred. A hundred. Mm -hmm. I think Poole got like, what, 130, man? Yeah, 140. Yeah, somewhere around Jeez. there. Mm -hmm. But his contract essentially replaced his, but it was about, to me, and I don't have no inside info, but to <laughs> me, it was who fit better with Steph over the next four years. You know what I'm saying? Like, Do you think they'll regret not moving off of Clay instead of Jordan Poole? Nah, because at the end of the day, let's say you don't win again. Mm-hmm. Clay has helped bring you four championships. Yeah. Right. Gotta yeah. stay loyal to Clay. You gotta, gotta be loyal. Gotta at be. the end of the day. Clay gotta leave on his own. They can't move Clay out of there. So does he deserve another contract? Yeah, he, he gotta take care of him. But is this this is year for the contract? It's it. not gonna be a super max. It's Think not. About it. It no, it may be. not be, but it gotta be respectable yeah. to him. Mm -hmm. Not sure. to us, to him. For sure. Because at the end of the day, they're paying dues 130. And how many wins the Wizards got? Four, maybe six. How many yeah, wins yeah, did that, Detroit got? And they paid two. Oh, Coach Williams don't disrespect. They Detroit was eighty million. They on a twenty game so, losing streak. So my <laughs> point is, if 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 that's the case, we got we owe Clay. Clay helped us get four championships. Uh -huh. Not only that, this is a loyalty check. A yeah. loyalty check, but also a check. And this is what people got to realize. Not only a loyalty check for sure. He helped us bring four championships. But the third piece is the Splash Brothers helped change basketball. So you brought a whole new fan into the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. And There's we know where you're going if you leave us. You're going to the Lakers. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah they don't four. want that. Right. They don't but, want that at all. Like, they help bring business in basketball. Before oh. kids like, man, got I a new six, arena off of that. I got to be 6'9". Yeah. I got to be 16. I got to jump through the sky. Yeah, and be when you're seeing game. somebody yeah. like Steph. Nah, work on your game, bro. Like, work on your jumper. And because uh, SGA, now he could hoop. What? Mm -hmm. Man, hey. I slept on him because it was my uh, my buddy Vincent, Brian. He was saying, he was like, he would take SGA over John Moran. I said, boy, you, like, you smoke. Mm -hmm. Then Looking when you start, watching, <laughs> probably, you start yeah. watching the person more, I'm like, oh, this, this, this is this cold. That's another one. There's few guys that play like they have headphones. He's another one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't You can't them. smooth. Hey. Yeah. But the difference with him is, and it's interesting for 30-point scores, the difference with him is, he doesn't ruin the rest of their growth. Mm -hmm. I talked to their coach when we interviewed him, and he's like, he's just a part of the program. It's like they run it like a college. Mm -hmm. So he's just part of the program. Chet, you can still do your thing. Um, Dort, shoot your shots. Mm -hmm. J-Dub, handle the ball, do your thing. And he had a quote, and he said it. And we got Jordan here. And I screenshot it because I send different quotes in my group chat with my parents. Gotcha. He said, if Michael Jordan had to get off the ball, shoot, I got to get off the ball. And just that mentality tells you, like, I get it. Like, he's, you could still be cold, still get better, and let these other dudes grow. So I love Shay. So I see when you see Mike, when you came in, you was like the GOAT. You got oh, man. Nobody better than Michael in your no. book. To be honest with you, it's almost disrespectful to compare anybody to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is so cold. Michael Jordan <laughs> had played a game in the NBA. Bobby Knight said he's the most competitive. He's the most athletic. He's the most this. The most, he's the best player I've ever seen. And we talking about seven people up for failure. He said he was the best. And Michael, he coached Isaiah Thomas and all this stuff. So. Bro, he he in that in Olympics when they went eight no, Jordan played against Magic, Isaiah, like all stars. Could you imagine right now? Could you imagine the college kid, whoever you want to pick, coming playing against eight all stars, including LeBron and KD, and beating them eight straight times? 
Mm. My man was so cold. Michael Jordan's playground came out in 91. They said he was the best ever. He hadn't even won a championship yet. My man was so cold. He said, I'm going to go win three championships, go play another major sport. Yeah. Come back and win three championships more. And then I'm going to leave again. Then I'm going to come back again. Yeah. My you know, man's like, so cold, he bought a team off of shoes. <laughs> shoe sales. <laughs> For argument purposes. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you, though. Sometimes I get into it where I be like, nah, LeBron, LeBron. You know, I had a LeBron and Mike debate. But then when you go watch... Mike highlights and just see what he would do. It's like Man, look, nobody was doing that then. Nobody's not doing it now. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> if 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 you didn't know nothing about Michael Jordan, mm -hmm. let's say you came to this country. Can't say you came to Earth. And you didn't know nothing about Michael Jordan. Right. And you just saw you knew about basketball. You just saw his highlights. You didn't know none of his accomplishments. You be like that may be the best player I've ever seen without even knowing the. Then I tell you everything he did. You be like, come on, man, what are we talking about? <laughs> right. Like, what are we Facts. talking about? And this is no disrespect to anybody. No, that's a good Not that's LeBron, a good way to not put Kobe, it. Yeah. not Wilt, not Magic, not anybody. He was, oh, and he played defense like he did. Zero offense. flaws. My man was flawless. Zero. Any man and basketball is like art. Look, we, we see John, right? We're going to put on some uh, Gucci first shooter. <laughs> we see Jordan, we see, oh, we start playing slow music in our head and looking like this dude is, he's from a <laughs> different right. planet. He was listening to what? Uh, Lattimore, uh, Kenny, Kenny Lattimore. Lattimore yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you the coldest part about MJ. One of the coldest parts. He wasn't trying to convince you he was the best player ever. He was just trying to be the best that he could be. Mm. He not, never even said it. He never said it. He never, he, he never to this said day, it. he's never said it. Man, look, y'all leave it where you want to leave it. But I, he played like he was possessed. He played like he knew these arguments would happen in the future. <laughs> <laughs> My man played defense like he played offense. Yeah. Which one of the other greats can we say did that? Nah. And I'm not even a defensive player. Cole. I don't care about yeah. defense. Cole, yeah. Cole, was, a, Cole, was, Cole was a tenacious Cole. defender. Cole. But who'd he watch? Who'd he no, study? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. who LeBron study? So yeah. we're saying these all-time greats, everybody that wasn't older than Jordan. So Magic didn't study him, obviously. Kareem, you know, Phil Russell, rest in but peace. But anybody after... They all studied him. They had to. Yeah. I just saw a stat today on the plane. It said Michael Jordan got outscored one time in a playoff series his career. That one time was his rookie year. He never got outscored. <laughs> in one game? Like not even a no, series? No, series. series. Oh, a series. Oh, okay. You know how some series, hey, that was that was his series, man. They don't. Right, right, right. Who was that against? Yeah. I, yeah. I probably Boston. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but that would make sense. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying like, and this is the coldest, and I'm going to leave with this. I've been on my Jordan rant. He never got to the highest level and let you down. That part. Never that was stuck into you. I saw your eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> he never got to the highest part and let you down. Right. Never. Nah, you make it was almost like It was almost like a robot, like a computer. You just knew how it was going to play out. Who, who was your team growing up, though? The Bulls. The Bulls. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I could tell everything about Jordan as a kid. Mm -hmm. People tell me now, they remember me walking around with Jordan, uh, the Chicago Bulls ripaways. Yeah. So when I got, <laughs> real talk, I ain't never said that. Oh, you getting break. But, but yeah. Like, I'll tell your sister, his mom's name. Like, yeah. his brother Larry, the shoe size, his favorite Gatorade color. Right. Like, I can tell you everything about him. Orange? It's citrus orange. It was citrus orange, yeah. <laughs> you had to that was the Sports Illustrated for kids, too, by the way, when yeah. they said that. <laughs> But like I'm a Jordan fan too. Did nah, you, like did you speak getting drafted to the Bulls into existence because of that? I didn't, but it was crazy to hear the same announcer. And we was, I can cuss on here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we was yeah. shitty. Yeah, but it was like just hearing that dude's name because I heard it a million times from Michael Jordan. Bro, Michael Jordan is like Michael Jordan's so great. When people are great at something else, they have to compare them in whatever factor it is yeah. to Michael Jordan. Uh -huh. Jay Z. Mike Jordan, I'll record him. Yeah, like, yeah. who nah. else are we doing this with? Right. Who else are we still comparing this long later? Like, who else can say, okay, 25 years since I played, we're still comparing people to them, that person. In a world where everything happens fast and we're talking about this or that. Tupac, maybe. Yeah. Maybe like a Tupac. In his first basketball game, he went and saw Jordan. I was there. Really? He didn't know that. Know. It's a true story. <laughs> he had just signed with Death Row. It was when Magic came back. Me and my boy Jalal snuck in the Laker game. Uh -huh. We used to stick in the forum and it's easy. And Jordan, he didn't have the best game that game, but Tupac came for that game. Later on, um, Suge Knight said that was Tupac's first game he ever attended, professional game. 
That's all right. Mm, that's that's, that's dope story. as hell. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Like, you know, be, like when you hear them type of stories, you be like, okay. And when it come full circle. And the last thing I'm going to say, <laughs> the fear. Yeah. yeah. Mm. The fear he put in people. Uh -huh. Bro, I promise you. You ever seen him in person? Who, Mike? Yeah. I wish. Hell no. Bro, you ever seen, is anybody here ever seen him in person? No. Nah. Bro, I promise. And you see other famous people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he walked in here and we you, could be a room full you'll of feel that shit, huh? Bro, don't, he don't look real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Damon's coming here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ask him when he comes. And we ain't said a word to each other, but yeah. it's like a white glow around him. It don't even look real. Yeah, I don't heard. I don't heard. I heard the. I I listen to KG all the time, and KG talk about a time like he stepped on the court with him, and he felt like you know what I'm saying his aura, like bro, yeah, his rookie. Bro, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Forty years old. I'm working out with him in Chicago. Gotcha. He has Jay Z, Beyonce. They're on the side watching a pickup game, like it's a court side game, real regular season finals game. <laughs> My man had a. He would have a yellow Jordan outfit on. That probably still ain't ever came out. Some yellow Jays. <laughs> And a yellow Ferrari outside. Like he was just on a different, <laughs> he's a different, my man's different. Yeah. We, and it's, 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 it's kind of weak to use the word different because we use it so much now. Uh -huh. Like they done made it so like. He's like no other. Loosely. Ain't nobody like him. Like nobody. Nobody, nobody. That's all right. Nah, you don't. I, I'm, I'm trying to mention his name again. Here, here go, man. I'm sorry. I, I had nah. all the tapes growing up. You still got to shoot. Yeah, yeah, you don't. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to meet him. That's the only person I want to meet. Bro, it, it wouldn't even feel real. You see the NBA 75? You oh, saw yeah. how it looked. Oh, yeah. You saw how everybody was like, yo, Mike. My Mike son at the time, when was that? Last year or year before? It was two years ago. Two years. My two son years was 11. Mm -hmm. He said, Dad, you see how MJ walked in? I said, how'd he walk in? He said, like a boss. He was 11 years old. Yeah. And he see that And he see it. Yeah. And you hear Dame Lillard tell the story about it. Like, bro, this man, he's... Even a room full of stars, they turn to kids when he walk in. Yeah. My man is... <laughs> nah, you had some good points. <laughs> I think that's an argument we don't need to have no more. <laughs> like, just... And this is... And you give LeBron all his flowers. Like, you give him all his flowers because... Mm -hmm. One person's success don't mean another's failure. Oh, for, for sure, for what sure. What LeBron's yeah. done is we won't ever see again. Uh -huh. What Kobe's done, on the, we won't ever see again. Like, And then somebody else is, you know, KD or mm -hmm. Giannis or one of these dudes going to do what they do. Curry, we won't, we might never see somebody change right. a game like that in that way. So you give everybody flowers, but that dude, leave him alone. What's up? This holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, convenient meals to keep you energized on jam-packed days. Factor, that's the only one. America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service can help you fuel up for fast breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian-approved, ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door so you don't have to go looking. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle while tracking all your holiday to-dos. Too busy with holiday plans to cook, but want to make sure you're healthy and eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping and prepping and cleaning up. Got to take the truck. Just too much stuff when you can get a healthy meal with flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor, fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. And I know because I just warmed this one up. And all you got to do is heat and enjoy. Oh, man, I can't wait. Oh, man. Here we got the buttery salmon. Oh, my, 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 my. Mmm, and the broccoli. Mmm, man, I can't wait. The place is not that hard to take off, but when you're in a rush, you want it. So this November, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Mmm, man. Head to factormeals.com slash 85sports50 and use code 85sports50 to get 50% off. You can't beat that. I'm being on 50% of this before I finish. But head over there now. Tell them Nav Green sent you from Broken Play. Mm. And that's 50% off. Code 85sports50 at factormeals.com slash 85sports50 to get 50% off. Man, warm me up another one. But see, when, when did you realize, oh, I could go to the league with this shit? 16. 16. Mm -hmm. 
I was, I was. I never got that revelation. I was fifteen. <laughs> That's why you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I was fifteen, and um, I remember playing in L.A. I lived in L.A. for a while, and Baron Davis. We was at the Pump Classic, and Baron Davis ripped me twice in a row. And this is me. When I say me, I mean I could really dribble. He ripped me twice in a row. And it felt like five people was guarding me. I'm like, man, somebody else can get this ball. And from that moment on, I just continued to work. I was working, working. But when I turned 16, something changed. And I started playing against pros. And when that happened, I had success. I'm like, damn, I play. So my summer league now, it was Doug Christie's. And he let me play as a kid. First four games, I didn't do much. I had like eight points combined, two, a bucket a game. Then he got hurt. And I went. And Damon was playing that. And I averaged 30 the rest of the way. I'm playing against Damon, um, Sean Kemp. When I had that success, it changed my life. And then, then the pros start cuffing me like, yo, you can make it. So Doug Christie started training me. And I didn't even have his phone number. But you know, you kids, you would a pro. You made me get a couple of dollars. I didn't want no dollar. I yeah. didn't want your phone number. Tell me where you're going to be at. I want to learn to be a pro. Right. And he saw that focus. He's like, oh, you're different. OK, so we're going to do this. So he'd get there at 7. I'll be there at 6 waiting for him. I'm just catching a bus, 45 minutes. Wherever I got to do, I'm driving a car. You guys got uh, three-day trip permits here? Like, it's basically if your license is uh, your plates are bad. You can buy like a trip permit, like three days. We got mm-hmm. in Seattle, I've never heard so it's good for three days. Yeah. <laughs> so you can buy they it can't three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So many cars. They've been a we fleet to get in the country. <laughs> so you could book. Yep, you could do it for three days. So yeah. I would. No, you can. You have your own car, but you just can drive it for three days mm-hmm. legally. Yeah. So I would do that. Man, and be inspired. I'm, I'm going to find him. Yeah. So I, he helped me become a pro. That's what's up. And Gary Payton. Shout out Gary Payton. But, and, and like, you know, I follow you and I follow, you know, like, just Seattle basketball, yeah. period. And talk yeah. about that, like, because that's what y'all do. Y'all take people under y'all wing. And yeah. to hear, yeah. like, it dates all the way back to you and then seeing you do it with these guys, like, you know, that I, I feel like that's really special. Well, Doug Christie, him and, he did it for me first and then Gary Payton came along. And when they did it, it changed my life. Because I was just one of five million kids saying I want to go to the NBA. But when you believed in me uh-huh. and said I could make it, I'm like, I can make it? I'm going to do it for the next kid. They hit a light bulb. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do it for the next kid. I'm going to do it for the next kid. And and now there's a kid right now who could text DeJounte Murray. He could text Zach Levine. Eighth grade, ninth grade. Yo, can you watch this film with me? Can you tell me what you see? And they're going to respond to him. And that's what it's about. Like, we don't have the crabs in the bucket mentality. It's like, no, I made it. I got the blueprint. Follow. This is the way we're going. Uh-huh. Now you see 20 of us make it. Think about this, and this is powerful. We don't have an NBA team. We ain't had one since 2008. That's 16 years damn near, right? We have more pros in the last 16 years than we ever had before that with no pro team. So no inspiration to draw from from a pro team. Like, I see the Hawks every night. I can go, you know what I mean? I can go to the uh-huh. game, whatever. It's like the, the players that are back in the community that never left are still in the boys and girls clubs. We still, so it's realistic to them. When they see me, I like, coach them all. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Yeah. And and that's inspiring. It gives hope. So like when yeah. you say coach Jamal, if you was the coach of the Pistons, what what what, what you <laughs> what you uh, The Pistons? Yeah, if they on 20 game losing streak. How you uh, how you uh, like motivate your team right now? First off, we 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 all going somewhere together. Like we going somewhere undisclosed. Like we got to shake, we got to get that yeah. off <laughs> that bad juju. And then I'm a, we going to make it fun. Like yeah. at this point as a normal coach, you tried every mean speech. You've done all the running. You've done all that. We're going to shake it all away. I'm going to be like Prime in Colorado. We're going to bring some swagger to it where they're having fun. Because, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's serious. It's business. But you want to have fun at the end of the day. Yeah. And, it, and this league is younger now. These young kids want to have fun. Yeah, they that's your girlfriend, true. man. Hey, that's, you guys serious? Bring on the plane, man. Like, I'm going to change something up. Uh-huh. I'm going to have to do, do something that. different. Because yeah. if, if you change this... The rest follow. Well, who they in Detroit? Like, man, get baby face red. <laughs> hey, man, you know what? The next we in Detroit the next week and a half. All our home games, um, we going to Miami, we're gonna come back. Like, I'm gonna do something to switch it up because they need to change their mental first. Cause winning is the habit, but so is losing. Now they finding ways to lose. You yeah, like, like how does that happen? You start though, believing you're gonna lose. The league is so talented, anybody can win on a nightly basis, right? So, like, when it gets to five games, then it gets to 10 games, and right. 15 and the 20. In your experience, how does that happen? Because it's not about basketball at that point. Yeah, it's the mental part of it. And just like when you win in games, I remember I was on the Clippers team. We won 17 games in a row. The last game of the 17, we were down 20 in the fourth quarter in Utah where you can't even breathe. Mm-hmm. We found a way to win that game. So I remember that too. It's a habit. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, that's just how it goes. But I would definitely change stuff up. I would, here's a question. Who's their vets over there? 
It's the blind leading the blind. K- Killian Hayes. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. He might be the longest tenure player. A 21 player year old is being led by a 23 year old. Yeah. I'm going to have some vets over there. Oh, Alec Burks. Alec, Alec Burks over there. Oh, Alec Burks is a good vet. He's a good vet too. But I'm going to have more of Alec Burks. I'm not just going to have yeah. him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Need a couple more. Yeah, you need two or three sure. more. Because then they were like, man, he don't know what he's talking he about. He only talking and, about. Yeah, well, and it's only him. Yeah, it's only so him. So if, if they ain't following him, like, we could still get him out. You know, or we could still do what we want to do. <laughs> not get him out. I'm right, but, I but we can still do yeah. our own thing with or him. Or he might not yeah. know how to translate to him. It's more of us than him. Like, yeah, it's yeah. more of us than him. That's what I'm trying to I'm say. I'm at an older age. I don't know how to talk to you. I'm making boy. more money than him. Like that. Man, he on the bench. We got to play. Yeah. Whatever it is. Right? So I would get at least three to four on that team specifically. And I would change up whatever they've been doing. Man, you have practice every day. I don't want to see y'all until we get to the gym. Ooh, Coach, we ain't got to run. We could just be at the gym. Oh, we hooping today. Right. I'm playing music in there when they come in. I'm doing, like, I'm the changing the mindset. music that they like. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. music. Come on. Like, I'm changing the whole mindset. Yeah. I want them to have fun. Because once they win one, I guarantee they win more. You if that, just if talking that about the right. uh, Clippers and how y'all went on that winning streak. Did you, like, did you feel disappointed and won yeah. the championship with that? Mm-hmm. Because damn. our best chance was 2015, and we, the Spurs had just beat the Heat. Uh-huh. And we put the Spurs on the first round, and nobody wanted to play them. We was like, ooh, they about to back to back. They won like 21 or the last 25 games going mm-hmm. into the playoffs. And we went to game seven, we beat them. Then the next round, CP get hurt at the end of that round. Yeah, we go play hurt. Houston. Uh-huh. We go up 3-1. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're like, oh, we're going to the final. And Josh Mill. <laughs> had to sign him after. <laughs> yeah. like, and, then, and then we go up 3-1. He was playing out his body. Oh, yeah. yeah. He saved him. Shout out to Smooth. Yeah. He was on here too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Three. So we go up 3-1, and if we win that game, we go play the Warriors. And the Warriors, people don't know this. They weren't ready yet. We're the last team to put the Warriors out before they went on their mm-hmm. run championship. Uh-huh. So we like, oh, we about to go win it. And we just, man, that was crazy. And the last, game six, we was up 19 at home in the third quarter and lost that game. Yeah. You could redo that. In a, you could simulate that game 100 times. And 99 times they work in our favor. Up 19 yeah. at home, playoff game, in the third quarter. And it was certain possessions how it was going. It was it's like, crazy. It was crazy. Well, it was crazy. So now I know people give Doc a lot of shit <laughs> for fumbling playoff series and stuff. What was, in your opinion, what was the reason for losing 3-1? To be very, very honest with you, I haven't went back and watched like every game. I just, it's a blur, but just overall, I think we weren't mentally tough enough. And I think that's all of us. I think that's Doc. I think it's the players. I think it's everybody. Because when things were going great, we were great. But when things, you know, I think it's two things. I think we weren't mentally tough enough. And I also think we thought time was on our side. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're young, I will be back. The Seahawks did mm. in football. Mm-hmm. Get more yeah, the damn ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll be we, we'll be back. We ain't been back since. Since, like you know what I mean? OKC when they had Harden, Westbrook, and Durant, they went at twenty three. Yeah. Oh, they'll be back every year. They haven't been back. Well, KD went back with the Warriors. Yeah, but, but they haven't been back, been back since. Back. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? They so were supposed to have a couple. Yeah, man. Come, uh, they, people thought they was going to four or five run like championship run. But it's the mindset yeah. we be having with that. Nah, you saying- so I think our youth took a shot at us, and I think our our mental toughness as a group really took a shot at us. It was on full display then. Man, Jamal, I ain't gonna say you made it fun, but you made it cool to be six, a six man though. Like I when I say that, you, man. Lou Will, like For when sure. you see, like y'all will come sure. off the motherfucking bench and drop, <laughs> drop, drop, like you know what I'm saying. Right now, how? Like, you know, I don't know if you know about the gambling and stuff, but like prize picks, like y'all would be a <laughs> lock. prize picks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> y'all gonna come in that second half. It, the points, you better take the more. Nah, so it's like, what made you like realize like, nah, I can make this, I, I can be great at this. I, I didn't, for real, for real, I I got to a point. The league is different now. Uh-huh. Before you were judged if you're on a winning team or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it wasn't like you could just do numbers and it's cool, everybody's gonna love you. I was being known as a, a good player on bad teams. I'm like, man, I've won my whole life. I won high school championship. I won as a kid. I, gotcha. I've always won. In college, I won when I was playing. And I'm like, I don't want to be known as that. And at the time, I got traded here. And they had their starting five in place. Bibby, Joe Johnson, mm-hmm. Smooth, mm-hmm. Al Horford, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Marvin Williams. And I'm like, well, I don't even care. I'll come off the bench, whatever. And I just averaged damn near 20 for three straight years. But I'm like, I don't care. I want to win. 
And so it wasn't something I chose. It kind of chose me. Right. But once it did, I was going to own it. I'm like, well, I won't be the best at it. So I tricked myself mentally. Started in the summer. Everybody, we in Seattle, so obviously I can go on court first, but I gotta, I'm got i stepping back, letting them play so I can see the game different. <laughs> right? That's smart. And yeah. pick up. And then I had to trick myself when I got here because my first day, I'm like, man, I feel weak. I'm coming off the bench now. Like, I even, man, they looking at me crazy in the crowd. Like, I done fell off. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. So I went from that to, nah, you good. Superman's coming. The show don't start till you get in. Mm-hmm. And then I was on some killer shit when, I, when that happened. That change happened. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm about to kill this. Yeah. I'm about to make it. Like Lou says, I'm going to make it embarrassing. I was like, nah, I want to make it where the show didn't start until I walked in. These are the, these, this is pre-funk. We're going to get to the club in a minute. This is the pre-funk. We had the hors d'oeuvre. We're going to get to the club in a minute. Yeah, so that's I'll how sweat I it out that. a little bit. Yeah, that's how I'm I mean. 100%. Yeah, you ready now? Yeah, let's go. And I want to I want to put on a show every night, no I matter bet. if I started. Because I finish games. More exactly. Uh-huh. Oh, no, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, who's one of your favorite cities you play for? Atlanta was one, um, not number one, but I'm saying yeah, one. one. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, L.A. and New York. Okay, I love Shy too. Mm-hmm. We wasn't we wasn't shit, but the Shy itself, I, I like I, everywhere I went, I embodied the culture. Mm-hmm. Man, like, you talking about New Orleans food, Chicago food, right? Oh there yeah, too? for sure, for yeah. sure. <laughs> but it was like I embodied the culture, so I would be in the hoods. Mm-hmm. Man, when I was with the Knicks, I would go like we have a matinee day game at twelve. Mm-hmm. Game over at three, I'm going to the park, playing with Still them and then moving. asking them what, what movie you want me to do in the game. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just crazy. crazy. No, nah, so I'm really doing that everywhere I'm yeah. going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And like here, this was the most people that look like us doing everything. Mm-hmm. And that was right. so dope. That's the first time I ever experienced that. So that was so yeah. dope to mm-hmm. me. We were just talking about that earlier. Like, yeah. like us doing everything. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Like even the, even the dude that usually come get your piss is white. Like it's, you know, you got black dudes coming. Like it's like everything. I'm like, yeah. this is dope. It was just a different feel. Being that you play here and you experience the culture, what is it about Atlanta and what other NBA players think of Atlanta that they don't want to come play here? That they don't want to come? Yeah. I think most people think, can they focus? I think most people think with their families, is this going to be you know a cool environment? My girl or wife and be like, nah, we ain't going there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. And that's why you smile and they can't see you right now. Maybe they can, <laughs> but you know, I mean, it, that all plays a part. So yeah. I think that's part of it. And then everybody wants to be part of a winner. I think the more they win on the court and it looks sustainable, like, okay, I could fit. Like, I'm a vet. I could fit with Trey Young or DeJounte uh-huh. or, you know, I could fit with those pieces and we could really go win. I think that's the, the last one. I like mm-hmm. both of them together, yeah. to be honest. Oh, like, for sure. I mean, why yeah. they get Trey so too. much hell, though? I don't know. Because they went to Eastern Finals the yes. year before mm-hmm. the Shantae yeah. game. So yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. You got a tough. You got to carry that number 11 but, in Atlanta jersey. It's kind of. There you mm-hmm. go. But, <laughs> but to his credit, look what he's doing. Bro, Trey is balling this. Trey season. going yeah. crazy. Yeah. Going I, crazy. I voted him one of my top three guards in the East, period. Like, he's killing. Right. <clears throat> uh-huh. Like, he's. And he does it every night. Mm-hmm. Before we get you out of here, man, who you got? Championship. Like, if you had. Right now. If you had to pick two teams, one to come out the East, one to come out the West, and you Milwaukee like, this, this and Phoenix. Life. I'm gonna say because I still there before the season. I think when Phoenix get built, they're gonna be totally different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you think Milwaukee gonna like yeah, clicking on all cylinders? Yeah, for sure. Because the thing they about they clicking right now. Yeah, they are low key, yeah. low key. Like it, I just I think on the defensive side they not yeah. the same. they just still got another level to go though. Yeah, they you can do. See, they They'll still it. like yeah. they figuring it out. But yeah, and Bobby losing in that tournament is gonna turn them up a lot more. And though. playoff defense is different than like Dame will be mm-hmm. more locked in. Everybody's gonna be more locked in defensively in the playoffs. Gotcha. Because you don't have to play for two three days. Like you, every possession is hard. Mm-hmm. Playoff atmosphere. The playoff. I can describe it this way: If we plan a fifteen pickup. Mm-hmm. And both teams got 14. You know how the last point is? Yeah, it's be yeah. Oh, yeah. Every single possession is like that in the playoffs. It don't look like it, but I'm telling but you, that's it, what it, it is. Like mm-hmm. that's what so, it Dame would be locked in. They'll be good. They actually fit. They don't just fit with their names. Like their right. games actually right. fit. Oh, yeah. no, I like that. So right. once they, yeah, they're going to be good. And I think Phoenix will put it together. Oh, yeah. If not Phoenix, Denver, though, I'm not going against Joker again. We both made that mistake. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, not again. Yeah. Nah, with KD, I just feel like KD going to get him one. Like just the the shit on people, but in my mind, I do. I want the Lakers to 
But you gotta be, you gotta start being realistic. <laughs> Uh, have, have, you, have you arrived to that point yet? Uh, I'm getting there. Like, you know what No, I'm you didn't because you mentioned AD first. And I knew you were still talking. <laughs> no, when I, because it was like, it was like, that's who, that's who I was talking about. It was like, that's, it's that's against the, the Pacers, that's the frustration though, bro. For you. The Pacers got the worst defense. Everybody knows true, the Pacers true, got true. the worst defense. But it be the faces he make. It's like, okay, this might carry up. I knew he was tripping when he looked at his hand. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but, but you got to think about like this. It ain't. The Pacers, it's gonna be. Can he do that against Joker? And exactly. that's what can he do that against Giannis? Because that's those are the ones you say he's gonna potentially play against. Right? Yeah, and that's and that's what you got to do. Embiid, can you do it against Embiid? Gobert and Cat. I'm yeah. not saying. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying. Too. Shit, yeah. let's start oh, there. Oh, Ant Man, how you feel Ant-Man. about Anthony Hill? Cold dog. <laughs> dog, right? <laughs> he real too. I love everything. About, he's electric. Certain players is good, and certain players is electric. Like he's mm-hmm. electric. He brings his teammate up. He brings the building up. He brings the game up. Like, he's cold. And he him. Like, you could tell it ain't no on off switch. Ain't no fake dog in him. Yeah. There's some fake dogs out there. Uh-huh. Ain't no fake dog. He a real dog. Like, for real, for real. Like, he really want to go get it. And I respect that. I don't care if he shoot 0 for 18 going trying to get it. He really trying to go get it. Yeah. Like, like on some Kobe shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he's really trying to go get it. And I respect that. Any more questions for what, What's yeah. some of your favorite teammates <laughs> you, you've been playing with? I'm hold a man hot. Favorite teammates? <laughs> yeah, favorite teammates and like a quick story with them. Um, <laughs> how about how about you give me a name and I'll give you one? Because I, um, I, I, I played 20 years. I played a long time. Let me think. Somebody off that Clippers team. That um, was, I was a Live City fan. CP3, so. they get it. Whatever yeah. one you want. Pick one. DeAndre Jordan. I heard a lot of te- good teammate stories about him. He's the dopest teammate because he's... He's selfless. Mm-hmm. Like, he's never about him. He's about you. And think about this. He was our defensive captain. Right. right. Like he was everything ran through him. Ma, just try. I don't care about that shit. Go move the scoreboard. Go score. Like, he, so he knew how to talk to every single person. He literally had 10 different handshakes with 10 different people. Every, he was probably the most loved, like, off the court person in the whole organization. No. Everybody loved DJ. No. Because he's just genuine. He's in. He's about your family. He's going to, you know, all your kids. Mm-hmm. He's going to know everything about you. How's your mom doing? How mom doing? Yeah, got a, yeah, mom. She took. She gave me some words of environment, like encouragement. Like he's that's DJ. That's him. So he was the dopest. I'm that's glad dope. he got one too. Yeah, he did. He deserved. About, yeah, that's why he's still around. Then he went back to LA, and him and Reggie just went off. <laughs> yeah, he, <did. laughs> he looked like Lob City DJ. Right. Yeah, right. Now, nah, so they that was dope about the Clippers. So the whole environment, like kids, they want us to win because they could all come to the locker room afterwards. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a dope environment. No. Sure. Um, I got one. Uh, your AU team. Yeah. Your son. Um, he all right. Lil Will. Uh, yeah. Conroy. He yeah. nice. Um, talk about just you know like that that grassroots you know because that's obviously where it starts. You know what I'm saying? We uh, all of us you know play who play basketball grew up playing AU and right. you know AU get a lot of shit from the older generation and you know some of these guys who don't understand it but AU is really the blueprint and the foundation and you know as you see it carries over into the NBA so For sure. talk about the importance to you yeah it's, it's there's some parts of AU like we know that's not really cool and there's some parts that are, are not bad and you can actually make better and so Rotary Program shout out to Daryl Hennings and Dan Finkel they started it and I actually played for both of them the way they do it is it's not like just a normal AU program it's family and I think that's what separates them because the Palos, myself, um, everybody in the city came through them. And all the parents trust them because they're going to give them great guidance. It ain't going to be just on the court. It ain't going to be just, you ain't got to make the NBA. Just be good in life. Mm-hmm. And that's the separator for us is that everybody can make the NBA. Yeah, real but You program. can be a solid person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we do, or they do a lot of stuff off the court. Um, and for me being in this space now, especially kids I don't see, like I see them through the circuit. I'll check in with them, text them, make sure they're all right, make sure they're good in school. Are you stretching? How's your classes? You listen to your parents. Like, so I do that checking a lot with a lot of kids because it ain't like, oh, it's my team and I don't care about the rest of y'all. Like, no, nah, I'm trying to help everybody that I can. I, I think you get more of a love, a showing love. And hopefully one of them kids can do the same thing when there's another generation coming up. You know what I'm saying? And, and sometimes a lot of these kids sometimes will talk to people that only can, they can only, um, or trying to get something from the kid. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm, I'm giving you this because I'm going to give you a pair of Nikes. I'm giving you this game because I'm going to fly you here to play for me. For You know, like, uh. nah. Nah, we got to give them real game and care about all of them. Like, nah, you ain't on my team technically, but you my little bro now. So we going to, you know, figure it out. Make sure you're all right. That's real. Yeah. 
Oh, man, you appreciate you. Yeah. You got a question? You ain't got no question. You ain't got no question for him? No, but I was like, I enjoyed the part of it and you got to That's dope. <laughs> nah, man, we appreciate you pushing up. Anytime you, you know what I mean, you want to come cuss, because I know you be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, can, you can curse and talk real yeah, shit I can, on I can, I can really talk, yeah. yeah you can talk. <laughs> Ain't no, ain't no. If you didn't realize, we had been cursing it. He was like, "We would curse on him. We would try to keep the shit PG for you. <laughs> <laughs> we dump it down for you. Yeah, cause yeah. we know we ain't. Nah, but nah, we appreciate you pushing up on us, man. No doubt. Anytime you want to come through, just talk basketball. Marcel always speak highly. I'm here all the time. So, so we appreciate you, man. Y'all clap it up for Jamal. Probably. Appreciate it. Yes, Thanks sir. For me, 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 me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And real quick, I'm not Martin Luther King, I'm not Malcolm X, I'm not no philosopher. But it is power in words. Last week, we was five out of six. I said it can't get no worse. Motherfucker, we lost six out of six. No, bro. I ain't lose. All right, a push. And we lost five no, that's, that's a loss. Loss. That, 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 that don't count towards the money, bro. Yeah. That don't count that towards shit the money. Push. If it didn't that. hit, then it didn't hit. <laughs> yeah, right. That's where I'm at with. Crazy. Damn. So I'm still in the league. But we're not gonna start off with that. One could have hit. And when I say one could have hit, because in a group effort, we tried to make this one hit. Ooh, man. Dot net said under 0. 0.5 offensive rebound. What we say, bro? No, he said Look. it was one. Oh, and he okay. said under, under one. one. Yeah, and I said, bro, he could get one easily. He'll miss his layup, catch the ball, and go back up. The nigga had three offensive three. rebounds in the first quarter. He had two in one possession. And we <laughs> told him. Dom acted it out. Bro, we told him. We said this, that they could have. We said, dot net, if your pick don't hit, you won't be on that couch. Now, this week, if your pick don't hit, you won't have a mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to start being consequences when you don't listen to a team. It's a team. Listen, you know how, man. like, you remember on Fresh Prince when Carlton just threw that shot up? Oh, That's yeah, what that did. Yeah, he got jealous because Will was scoring. I, <laughs> I was trying to play hero ball. All right. Okay. So we're going to let you start it off. Who? Me, that man. Man. All right, man. I'm going. I'm gonna go some light, man. We are gonna go. Um, oh shit! Nah, what's his name? Come on, phone just. Lamar died. Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Yeah, oh. we got the Lamar Jackson. Two twenty four. I'm gonna go uh, over pass. Yeah, you better not do under on shit no more. <laughs> you you putting it on? Yeah. Okay. Nah, you could do it too. They're like, well, more money, you, but that's on you. I ain't gonna tell a nigga to get no money. Nah, nah. I just know if we win, we only get forty two. You can have some more money in your pocket. Yeah. We're gonna have forty two. We're gonna have wings, and I got some special for y'all. Damn, we win Aww. this week. Surprises. Since surprise, you made it's your turn. Okay, <laughs> I'm going football again. Uh -huh. Kyron Williams for over on his rush yards. You don't like that? I don't know. Who do they play? I don't Marcel even know who that nigga like is. Marcel he been going off. He has been going off. With the Rams, he playing Reds. If uh, Greg's they playing energy, the Commanders. If yeah, yeah, energy yeah. is towards it, I'm... Uh, that that ain't a bad a trap, thing. though. Y'all know how. Hold on now. <laughs> yeah. Stick with, you, stick with you. You know what? No, yeah, I already baby. said it. That's what we doing. Yeah. Yeah. Speak, speak. We speaking positivity. Yeah. It's going to be better than last week. Fact. And the week before that. It's got to be. <laughs> And the week before, no, nah, <laughs> we we might not even get a push. <laughs> it get worse, but it's not. We're not. <laughs> it's good, too legit. All right, come on, that. Yeah, since we about to go to the club, you know we got to take Debo Sam. Okay. Gotta get that one, Debo <laughs> with you. Taking his over 65 and a half receiving yards. I love that. Yeah, I so love that. After last week, yeah. Oh man, I love that pick, boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you make me proud. <laughs> Ain't nobody like you. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got, Dom? Taking Bradley Beal over one and a half threes. I feel like that's, I feel like that's easy, man. Like, yeah, and the we, nigga we, take eight. Threes. We thought that when you told me about uh, who you boy Tatum, he, he was did. like, Nah, Tatum will get that in the first half. I said, I don't know. And then he did the week before with Eric Gordon. He ain't hit either. But two threes, he got to shoot. Two. All right. Yeah. 
Cause you right. And no KD tonight. Yeah, okay. I oh, love he just got to attempt him. I love it. No, I got to make him. these, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no attempts. Yeah. Attempt, That's free money. They put attempts up there, what? Shit, them nigga come out shooting a three. All right, Greg, I'll let you get last pick. Let me get... Because I'm going to trail that. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to go Jalen Hurts to have two passing touchdowns. I like two, that. Or touchdowns. Two touchdowns. I like that. Two yeah. touchdowns. Yeah, they got embarrassed this week, so... And they playing they gonna Seattle. Seattle going... Seattle, you know what I mean? You said Jalen Hurts to score a touchdown? Nah, two touchdowns. It's 1.5. Yeah, I see that. They say passing, though. Yeah, passing, rushing. No, you saying passing and rush? I, th- I thought that's what it oh, said. Let me see. You might be right. Nah, that just don't pass. No, I just passing. Yeah, I'll take that though. Okay, I like that too. So, I'm putting the picks in. If I could, I would have took Pat Mahomes because we ain't never seen Pat Mahomes mad. <laughs> and to watch him be mad, I said, oh, it, it daddy coming out. <laughs> Yeah, that's what he needed. All right, I just put that shit in. I put a hundred, bring back twenty five hundred. We gonna Bet. we gonna be twenty five hundred dollar richer next week. Uh. That's a, that's how we gotta start talking. We ain't yeah. gonna say if this happened. If, no, we finna get twenty five hundred dollars. Thanks. You we finna it. have forty two in this motherfucker. We still got the same damn ball <laughs> from the last time we won. It's all this. Last season. Yeah, that's it. And we got it up here like they sponsored this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't deserve to have this shit. <laughs> you know how we was talking about how Detroit Pistons on that losing streak and shit got to start being changed because, like, even, they don't feel... We losing. Oh we got to just start doing <laughs> shit for y'all to see how serious a nigga is. I, I want to win. It's different. It's different. Coming here smiling after a motherfucking loss. <laughs> With that being said, let's go win. <laughs> Broken play. That's good. Yeah.